Well, Kay, great to see you as always. Can you believe there is just one game left of the 2020 NFL season? It is, of course, the big one. Um, Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes, Tom Brady doing exactly what he went to Tampa to do. You get the feeling some way the football gods are just shining down on him. I didn't, even, even week eight, nine, ten, I did not believe it was going to happen, but it is so impressive, such a testament to who he is as a leader, his imprint on a city, on a culture, on a team from top to bottom. Bruce Arians said it best. All it took was one man. When he said that, I got a couple of goosebumps there. I worked up in New England following his career through a couple of Super Bowls um, up there, and now for it to be his 10th Super Bowl at the age of 43. And how great is it that his, his kids are at an age that they can fully appreciate what he's doing as well. It was so cute to see him and Jack after the game at Lambeau. Absolutely. And you get the sense from him that his kids being able to enjoy it now is kind of part of what's motivating him to keep on playing. Yeah. And the way he's throwing that football, he was throwing some long bombs on, on Sunday. I genuinely think we might be seeing Tom Brady play at 50. Uh, he's, I, you know, he said, a, but he said a couple of years ago, Hannah, 45. And I think that was when he, when he puts it out there like that as a goal, he's going to at least get to that point. And I think it's important from a business perspective for him as well, not just for you know his legacy and, and what that means for the NFL, but he's a businessman. He's got different interests. TB12 is something that's really close to his heart, wanting wellness and performance um, enhancement equipment and procedures and diet and all of that uh, as a way of life to be adapted by people. What better way to do that than to play a quarterback for, you know, 75 years or whatever he's going to go to. <laughs> he's a great walking advert for his brand, isn't he? And the Chiefs then back-to-back -back Super Bowls, which is a huge achievement in itself. Um, but <laughs> I know you, like me, have loved watching the Bills this season, but they just couldn't find a way past them like, like the rest of the NFL. Will they, though, the Bills, still be there for a few years to come now and be up in contention and getting to Super Bowls with Josh Allen at the helm in the next few years? I really credit Steve Spagnuolo, the defensive coordinator, of course, for the Chiefs, a Super Bowl champion multiple times, and how he was fearless and relentless um, in his pursuit of Josh Allen, really ending what they were doing all season long and sort of giving him all he could handle. Uh, that was wild. And then the defensive game plan from Buffalo, they got picked apart underneath by Mahomes the whole game. So you're going to get lit up by the Chiefs either way. I would have liked to see uh, um, just a, a different plan of attack and, and sort of defending them. Um, I will say I think Buffalo has everybody coming back. I was looking at these numbers this morning, their salary cap situation, some of their contracts. Everybody will be back. I think it'll be Stephon Diggs and Josh Allen for a long time to go. Let's, let's not forget Josh Allen, very, very young in his career, and he took such a huge leap from last year to this year. Yeah, he certainly did. And I love the bromance that he's got between him and Stefan Diggs. It I is know. a beautiful thing to watch. Um, just a quick <laughs> one. Sure, you haven't spoken about this much this week at all. Would you have gone for it on fourth down? <laughs> Uh, yes, I, if, if Aaron Rodgers is my quarterback, yes, it has been, you know, wildly talked about, widely talked about. And some of the field goals with the Bills game uh, and Sean McDermott have been discussed as well. I think Matt LaFleur is going to haunt him and follow him around. Uh, I understand the decision, but I think if it was if it was me and I'm going to be, you know, Wednesday morning uh, or Tuesday morning coach here, I would say it would not be a tough decision. Seeing him walk off the field, never the right move. No, absolutely not. Kay, great to speak to you as always. We cannot wait to see Thank that you. pirate wait. ship rocking in Tampa. Do you have a pick yet? Are we going to, you know, let's wait a little bit. Are you still sorting it out? Too early, too early. I think okay. by this time next week, I may have more of an idea. Do you have a pick yet? No. Absolutely not. I mean, I was thinking this morning, That's who's it. the story? The story is Tom Brady, of course, but if, you know, Tom Brady, we can say, oh, he's out there thriving and throwing balls through the cold air. He had th three interceptions. Like, let's be honest here, Patrick Mahomes isn't doing that. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. They do get to play at home, which is a great thing. I'm just looking forward to whoever wins an exciting game to wrap up this wild year. Football will be the winner. Thank you, Kay. <laughs> Thanks, Hannah.